Today's hearings helped end decades of torment and pain for three families who never stopped fighting to see Reese held accountable for the lives he stole. Nothing prepares a family to go through something like this. 25 years is an awfully long time to be waiting for justice. For 25 years, the family of Laura Smither has waited to hear the word guilty. And in a Galveston County courtroom, William Lewis Reese finally pleaded guilty to the 1997 murders of Laura Smither and Jessica Kane. After this hearing, Reese was immediately shuttled to the Brazoria County Courthouse, where he also pleaded guilty to the 1997 murder of Kellyanne Cox, who was kidnapped from Denton and buried in a Brazoria County field. And I am just relieved that now the official records will show he was found guilty and convicted of taking my daughter away from us. Three families finally able to find some semblance of peace. Cox had a 19-month-old daughter when she disappeared. Alexis Bynum is now an adult. At the end of the day, we're able to shut the chapter on this part of it and not have to worry about him hurting anyone else. These were not William Reese's only crimes. Last year, he was sentenced to die for another 1997 murder. Newlywed Tiffany Johnston was killed at a car wash in Oklahoma. Reese began his killing spree after being released from an Oklahoma prison where he served 10 years for raping two women. The killings ended after Reese kidnapped Sandra Sapaw from a gas station in Webster. She escaped by jumping out of his truck while it barreled down the Gulf Freeway. Reese was then sentenced to 50 years in prison. DNA finally led to Reese being charged with Johnston's murder. He then started talking to Texas Rangers and in 2016 led police to where he buried Kane and Cox's bodies. Smither thanked Reese for finally telling the truth. There were a number of years in there where we truly didn't think we'd ever see this day. In exchange for these guilty pleas, William Reese was sentenced to life in prison for each of the murders. For now, he will be sent back to the custody of the Texas Department of Criminal Justice. And TDCJ officials say they will begin working on the paperwork to see Reese extradited back to Oklahoma, where he is facing a death sentence. Reporting live from Angleton, Robert Arnold, KBRC 2 News.